The men's horizontal bar finalists in Antalya and the top performer in qualification will go fifth in the order, Nestor Abad of Spain. And he has already been a World Challenge Cup champion on the horizontal bar, did that last year. We are poised to begin the men's horizontal bar final. Jogo Suarez of Brazil is the first gymnast to go. The Youth Olympic Games silver medalist in 2018 in neighbouring Argentina. We've had a slight wildness in the pirouetting work in terms of the leg form. Straight Kachev. Into a Kovac, keeps his swing going. Straddle Kachev with good extension and the pike variety. So three Kachevs and a Kovac. Now poised to uh, dismount with power and purpose, and he's done just that. Well done, Jogo Suarez. Nice performance to get us started. He made it into the final with an execution score of 7.25. So we'll keep an eye on that. Shows real stability as he lands. He had such an impressive World Championships last year at Jogo Suarez. He was 26th in all-around qualification and actually finished 10th. He was one of the big movers in that final. Thirteen point eight. No surprise that that is so different from Suarez. His difficulty is down by a tenth, but his execution is up by well over a mark. So it's a gain of a full mark plus five hundredths. The second performance comes from Radomir Stelmak of Ukraine. He was the second best in qualification, but everything has been changed by that display before him from Jogo Suarez. Won a bronze medal in his first senior year at the National Championships on Horizontal Bar last year. He again has some issues keeping the leg form tight, but his first catch is good. His second, the straddle, perhaps has even more gusto. That's some nice in-bar work. Did well there. And he uh, dismounts with a degree of security. Radomir Stelmak, the European Youth Olympic Festival all-around champion from 2022 in his junior days, now becoming established day by day as a senior force.
the last final is always an opportunity for the gymnasts who have gone before to sit and uh, just watch and enjoy. Thirteen point two for Radomir Stelmak. Nice moments to grab some photographs at the conclusion of the women's competition. And we go on with the men's horizontal bar final. That's Van Dennis Mark of Romania from Arad in the west of the country. He's been a European Championship finalist in Turkey. Coleman to begin. And a straight catcher that had a degree of float to it. It was well maintained in the air. Oh, he got some hip height on the straddle catcher. Exciting. Fluid to exit to the straight position out of the stolder. And again, it's nice and uh, controlled. And unfortunately, he has difficulty stabilizing his landing. And that's Van Dennis Mark, 22 year old from Romania, the undergraduate at the Ecological University of Bucharest. The classified results in the women's floor final and a correction to Liao Yi Chun's score 13.2, not 13.5, explaining her position sixth in the order. Mert Kulacher, the next uh, gymnast to go, the uh, local lad. They are getting excited. The local fans hoping to see one of their own get onto the podium. It'll have to be executed much more securely than in qualification he just made it into the final he made the final in Mersin at the equivalent World Cup last year 13.2 for Asvan Dennis Mark. It's a lot better by half a mark than the qualification. 
And had he not had the issues with the landing, might well have been much more towards uh, Diogo Suarez's score than level with Radomir Stelmak. Still on 13.8, Suarez leads. Waiting for the word go is uh, Mayor Tukulochet. And looking out over the uh, Antalya Gymnastics Hall, a very newly uh, constructed space. Really similar to the uh, building in Mersin. And I've been to the space and I can promise you if you don't have a good sense of layout of buildings and I don't have a good sense of layout of buildings you'll get lost in those corridors. Ras van Denismark with 13.2 is in third position. Mert Kulacer of Turkey. 12.3 in qualification, the eighth best. He has twice been an international horizontal bar finalist at World Cup and World Challenge Cup level. He looks now to make the next step, which is to push towards the podium. A straight Kachev is connected into a straddle Kachev, is connected into a pike Kachev. Well done, that young man. And he's going again for a big big dismount it's a short routine it's a compact routine and it's an enjoyable routine Mert Kulacer of Turkey I look back at the dismount which had only momentary stabilization needed upon the landing but he strung together three very nice catchevs. How will that compare to the 12.3 from the preliminary round where his execution score was the second lowest of any qualifier behind Jogo Suarez who's just made a mockery of his own qualification score. Such a proud moment isn't it when you get to represent your country for the first time as a senior at international level and for many gymnasts including the young Chinese athletes that we saw there it's the first occasion where they've been able to do that carries with it enormous pressure helps if you've got teammates with you to diffuse tension to chuckle along the way And as the old hands, the likes of the Chusevitners of the world would doubtless say to these young athletes, it gets easier once you get used to it. It's not just the first international competition, it's the first trip to an overseas hotel as a gymnast, the first time you've taken a long distance flight and then got off the plane and gone to training to shake off the jet lag. It's all of the variables, the uh, adjustment perhaps to equipment that you're not so used to using. It might be a little different compared to what your club uses, what you're experienced with at domestic competitions. And then, of course, that moment where you walk into the arena and you see the people that are there. You look at the Hebeka Andrages of the world and go, my goodness. I'm in the same competition as them. And he must have thought it as he scores a brilliant 13.7 that is 1.4 higher than qualification, Murd Kilosher. The first time that he 
took his place in the national squad alongside the great veterans, the Ferhat Arujans, the Cholaks and so on, who trailblazed for men's gymnastics in Turkey. And now he's the chap that might take their place in the team because what you want most of all is a competitive squad. You want a national setup where it's hard to get into that top group that goes to the major championships, that goes to the Olympic Games because it raises everyone's level to have real competition. And few nations have developed like Turkey has developed in men's gymnastics over the last decade. And one will never forget a chap called Ermit Shemelog, who was right at the beginning of it all. From Spain, Nestor Abad, the top performer in qualification. But the game has changed, frankly, since then, because his 13.5 in the preliminary stage has already been surpassed twice in the first four in this final. Just about got the clearance in the uh, Kachev. Stradokachev was more powerful. That's a lovely landing from Nestor Abad. Very graceful. 31 now, Nestor Abad, as of two days ago. He is from the Alicante area of Spain, a very uh, sunny and touristy part of the country, hugely popular. I was about to say a place of hospitality of uh, fine food and of enjoyable living but I mean that just describes Spain full stop doesn't it really one of the nicest landings that we've seen in any of the ten finals today Just three more performances to come at this Antalya World Challenge Cup. Thirteen point six for Nestor Abad. So he is in the bronze medal position, does improve upon his score from qualification. 13.6 up by one tenth. The top three separated by just two tenths. Suarez 13.8, Kulacher 13.7, about 13.6. Toma Modoyanu Zida of Romania. 26. His first senior international final as an individual. And he does well with his first release and regrasp. His Kovac unfortunately came down very uh, under the bar. There were signs of that in the Coleman, not quite as extreme. He's a remarkable chap because he has uh, 
osteoarthritis in his left knee had surgery in 2022 so he really does grapple on a daily basis with knee trouble with pain management with careful rehabilitation He does very well at the end after that unfortunate miscalculation with the second release move. Let's have a look again. If you want to hear somebody speak with great uh, affection about a grandparent, you listen to Tom at Modoyano Zida, who's Grandma is why he started gymnastics and he's been doing it now for 23 years and he said it's all thanks to his old man. And how many of the youngsters in the crowd today are young gymnasts or might become young gymnasts? And let us not forget that gymnastics has a thriving scene for those returning to the sport as well, for adult gymnasts who want to uh, perhaps make a form of competitive comeback after being gymnasts at a younger age, or maybe just take it up brand new at a more advanced age. There's some sort of pathway for everybody in this sport. And there are many nations that do a, a very fine job in hosting adaptive forms of gymnastics for athletes with disabilities. One hopes that will become even more of a, a part of global gymnastics in years to come. 11.2 for Modoyano Zida. Joel Plata of Spain, 13.3, his score in qualification. Can the bronze medalist at the 2022 European Championships get onto the podium? He's moving with purpose. Can he keep the control going? Yes, he can with the Casina, but almost judders to a halt. Straight Kachev had comfortable clearance. The straddle Kachev easily clears and is well judged in its trajectory. Twists nicely, lands well, small step. His reaction suggestive of the fact that it was nearly but not quite. After the casino, he had to really work to get back to his uh, standard swingfulness.
<laughs> His work done. Well, he's achieved his best World Cup finish this weekend. And he's made quite a lot of World Cup finals as well. But as I mentioned earlier in our broadcast, he really has made great progress in the last few years. And he has gone into the lead, 14. Joel Platter at the top. Suarez in second place. Kuluche is third. We have one left. It's Vladimir Kostyuk of Ukraine. He was the fourth best in qualification with 12.8. But uh, the level has gone up considerably in this final. It's been enjoyable to watch. And as a result, the mark required to get uh, onto the podium is 13.7 plus. It's a 13.6 that holds fourth compared to a 12.8 in qualification. First Yamawaki we've seen in this final. Many a straddle catch Evan that was nicely done. Pirouette smoothly. And again. It was quite a low landing from Kostyuk, necessitating that big pace forwards. The bulk of the routine was performed with control. But it's a big lunge forwards. Nonetheless, what a joy it is to see him back in international competition. He shakes his head there, but the signs are encouraging for what he can achieve. Goodness knows he's been through so much. And Vladimir Kostyuk probably has so many memories as he looks around the nation of Turkey, where he achieved all that success at the Junior European Championships, getting a full set of colours in 2020 in Mersin. 12.7 to draw this final to a close. The classified results in the men's horizontal bar final. Bronze to uh, Mert Kilocher of Turkey. Silver won by Diogo Suarez of Brazil. And the title goes to Joel Plata of Spain in what was a horizontal bar final full of improved performances compared to qualification. They really did give a good account of themselves, these gymnasts. The victory ceremony for the men's horizontal bar competition. Mert Kulacher of Turkey wins the bronze medal. What a display from him. He gains a mark and a half almost from qualification. And as a result, he's got his first World Cup honours. The winner of the silver medal, Jogo Suarez of Brazil. He gains over a mark himself from the preliminary round. In a display representative of the raised level of the metaphorical bar in this high bar final. The champion is the Spaniard Joel Plata, European Championship bronze medalist from Munich in 2022.
and winner for the first time at this level of a gold medal. And we will now hear the national anthem of Spain. The medalist in the men's horizontal bar competition at the World Challenge Cup in Antalya, Turkey. And so at the conclusion of 10 apparatus finals and a busy session 